are such an asshole. Oh, hi. It's a nice guy. Ah. Uh -huh. <laughs> this is a change from your typical uh, asshole consulting. Um, but I am here to uh, take on... What we well, have. you're not. I'm going to help you be an asshole. You're too nice a guy to I, be an I asshole. I am. I'm too nice. But I'll at least read the question. You read the question. I think it's a good idea. All right. Here, to make it official, you need your coffee mug. Show that to them. Otherwise, you're not me. All right. There you go. This it's is... hot. Don't, don't just slam me. All right. What, is, what mm. does the uh, client have? Okay. Today we have Dear Aaron, I'm a 20 year old student majoring in biology. This is my second year in school and I plan to drop out after the semester is over. I'm sick of commuting two hours every day and regurgitating that's, information. That's his first problem right there. I know. Two why, hours would you, a day. why would you go do online that? for that fucking shit? Like, yeah. Okay. Um, so sick and tired, sick of commuting two hours every day and regurgitating information from textbooks and class. Originally, I enrolled in pre med program with intentions to become a doctor. However, I don't want to spend eight more years in school racking up debt, stress, and depression. Right. Okay. If I had a two-hour commute, I'd be pretty depressed, too. Yeah. Same. For college, that doesn't make sense. For, well, I, 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 but... mm. Besides being a student, I own and run a cleaning service LLC that brings in about $30,000 annually. In addition, I make CAD house designs. What's CAD's a... It's a engineering design. Okay. It's like a software that you can design shit with. Cool. I make CAD house <laughs> designs for small construction company. It started as a hobby messing with construction plans, but now I get paid about $25 an hour when I come in to work. However, I'm not passionate about it anymore. Tough shit. I know. <laughs> He's 20. In addition, I took an EMT course over the summer. Oh, fuck. Jesus. And I okay. just need to... Oh, I'm going to do the fucking dude bro shit. All right. State okay. exam to acquire my license. Mm -hmm. I thought about becoming a paramedic because I find this career field interesting, but I missed the enrollment fuck. date, and now I have to wait another year. All right. Also, I... This one, I, I hate reading this next one. Also, I thought about becoming a realtor and selling houses because it's lucrative. <laughs> it's lucrative. That's why That's why so many people make millions of dollars doing it. And you're not alone. Everybody wants to do something for basically nothing. Okay. I'm sure you would recommend joining the military, which yes. provides a great opportunity with great risk. However, I'm not sure that risking dying or destroying my soul by killing others is worth the benefits. The, well, you you commute two hours a day. How does that not destroy he your soul? He's destroying his own soul, of which he has the right to. Uh, true, at yeah, least it's he not has the ownership. I, I will go with him on that. There's a legitimate reason not to join the military. Okay. All right, a little more positivity here. On the bright side, I took your advice from reading um, Bachelor Pad Economics, which, as you saw, I was just reading, yep. and began working out. Past summer, I've spent 93 hours in the gym lifting weights and gained 20 pounds of muscle. This had tremendous effects on my life health-wise, dating-wise, and I don't look like a nerd anymore. I've also lost many friends this year since I stopped playing video games and wasting time hanging out. I became introverted, and now I'd rather read a book, work out, or go to the range. Matter of fact, my parents asked me if I joined a cult because I'm not the same. <laughs> Um, I got buff, stopped shaving, sold my Xbox, bought an AR-15, and spend the majority of my time at home in my room reading. Ah, it's not so bad. Was at home? All right, so you're saving money. Yeah. Currently live at home with my parents to save on rent and have stored $10,000 in emergency money. I think that's awesome. Uh, although I feel that it takes away from my freedom to live at home, I need the money to pay off car debt. Oh! Oh! Isn't there an entire... Hang on, let me check. Where's that book? I'm wondering if there isn't an entire fucking chapter. I know I wrote about cars. You did, actually. Is there an entire chapter, though? See, yeah. I, I'm, I'm amazed at this. Like, it, it is... No, yeah, Cars and Transportation, Chapter 9. And I, I'm so... Not pissed, but it, it, it just... What well, fuck <laughs> me? Well, I got car loan. Well, what the fuck? Jesus Christ. 
Well, how much uh, before we go on? None. You should have no. I've always paid cash for cars. No matter how bad it was, I always paid cash for cars. Well, he says he made a mistake of listening to my mom and buying oh, a new oh, car. Don't listen. Is your mom rich? <laughs> no, which, your mom's probably poor, so don't listen to your mom. Well, he owes uh, 14000 Oh, for that, fuck's uh, sake. Jesus Christ. But at least he has a $10,000 uh, emergency fund. <laughs> See, that's the other thing I don't get about these cars that everyone buys. Like, the girls a little bit less so because boys have pressure, which I'm not forgiving them. I'm not forgiving them. I don't care if boys have pressure to get a fancy car and then they get the chicks. But that's what's mm. driving them. But then they get, like, this half-assed, you know, Buick sedan because some car guy in a car lot sold them on it. And then they're like, I gotta, I spent 25. You cannot get a car to get chicks if you spend 25000 Right. You're just not. And so when I hear the, this loan, like if you said 80000 I'm like, okay, well, you, maybe you got some pussy out of that. But when I, I got $17,000, i am like, what fucking middle of the road used piece of shit did you buy that, that is not going to impress chicks and it just put you in the debt? No. All right, what else you got? All right. Oh, it goes on. There's always drama going on between my mom and my stepdad at home. Too bad. This gets on my nerves and is a good motivator to move out. Every time I bring a topic of moving out, my mother starts crying for no reason and won't tell me why. Because right. mom's fucking mental. Yeah, you got I'll tell you right now. I'm not even the asshole here, but you have to move out as soon as possible, in my opinion. I know you're saving money. I think maybe you do. I, 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 he's, he's taken a monastic approach now where he just wants to read books. So he does it. It's not like he's got a lot of girls <clears throat> um, and he's got a ton of debts. So I'm not against him staying at home. Mm. Um, but if it gets that bad, see, but, but what is that's the problem I face with a lot of these requests. Like, okay, I get a, I get an email from an inner city kid uh, whose mom is kicking him out because he might move out and she loses less Section Eight money. Okay, that's a problem. Your mom just being, oh, I don't want my little baby to go. Well, fuck, you know. You might, and and if he's not chasing after tail and he's got that debt, I, I don't see any reason why he should fucking move out. And he's not going to go to college, so I mean, he might as well knock out that debt. Well, he says this. She says that I'm a fool if I pay rent and should wait until I have enough money to, quote, buy a house. Oh, whereas with I, his massive income. Yeah, which... <laughs> and debt. Whereas I just want to start living my own life and have women coming over. Oh. As much as I love my mom, she is too emotional and has attachment issues. Oh, Bottom line, I want to move out and start my own family at some point. Ah... Uh, all right, he's not ready to start a family. Um, it's it's kind of an interesting paradox because, on one hand, all of his decisions career-wise has been the pussy decisions. I don't want to work hard. I want to be an EMT. I want to be a realtor. These are all not even they're worse than dude bro entrepreneur. They're like half-assed. I want to do Amway type shit. Mm -hmm. um, and he he didn't want to do med school. And all I heard was I didn't want. I'm not impassioned. Fuck, you're twenty. It's a job. Watch all my videos on all jobs suck. It doesn't matter what you want to do in life. It's that you get paid to do it. What you do in life for fun is outside of work. At these young people, and it includes my generation, they've got to get it out of their fucking head that your career or your job determines you. That is not where your life is. It is where you go to sacrifice a third, a half of your waking hours, mm. a half of your waking life to be somebody's bitch so that the second half of your waking life you may go and live your life. That's 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 what that's what it is. So knock it off with you. I'm not passionate. Fuck what your passion is. Knock it the fuck off. And he's he's belying his true intentions. He wants to find some easy do bro way to make money. You either go become an he. he hang on, I'm gonna take a look at the fucking book again. <laughs> fucking genius. Because I could have swore I wrote something about. Oh look. Two chapters, chapter four and chapter five, education and career. Oh my God, I wonder if I recommended that you do do bro entrepreneurship in those fucking chapters. Well, I didn't. So either go accounting, STEM, we've done this a million times before, military, and cops, if you don't want to become military, go become a, some fucking thing. But the EMT is not a way. That's just what everybody did. When I work security, that's what everybody else did when they didn't have a good degree. Mm -hmm. I'm going to become an EMT. I think they made their fucking $12 an hour, you know, five hours a week at shitty hours of the time. They exposed themselves to tuberculosis and hepatitis and all that other fucking bullshit. No way. Yeah, I got it, a couple clients that are EMTs. I don't think I'd recommend it. Yeah, I mean, it's, it's no, you're not going to become an EMT. You're not going to become a realtor. 
I mean, and take the time. If he doesn't know what he wants to do, fine. Take the time. Figure it out. Go study. Maybe go Seth Himes, InDemandCareers.com. That's one thing to, to, to take a look at. Or uh, check out um, uh, Engineer Truth, Matt Tran's channel. I mean, go and do some research. Or do, maybe do programming boot camp. You don't have to go to college. College, it's good that he's dropping out because he doesn't know what he wants to do. That's brilliant that he's dropping out. I say he didn't even really waste his two years because of his prereqs anyway. But going forward, he needs a plan. And until that, it, the first step to getting a plan is to formulate one. And until that point in time, um, he's not moving out. He has too much debt with that stupid-ass mm. car. I would sell that fucking car immediately. I don't even care if he takes a loss on it. doesn't cover the fourteen grand. I would take his ten grand in savings and cover that. I'll get rid of that yeah. damn car. I agree. Go find a cheap, good, used Kia Rio or something. <clears throat> Buy a toolbox. Be able to fix it, so then that's done and taken care of. I would have him keep doing his LLC if he's making thirty grand. He's got an entrepreneurial spirit. Mm -hmm. He also has hustle. That's the other thing, the dichotomy I was saying, is he busted his ass off working out. So he has the potential to do it. It's just he's trying to find some easy way. I was like, there's no easy way. Well, I'll read the last paragraph. Oh, right, this right. is kind of a long what this we're is, talking about. We're not about. done yet. Oh, good. Yeah, I mean, this is the last paragraph. He goes, well, I like owning my business. I don't want to clean houses my whole life. What right choices can I make in life regarding college and career? What steps should I take to achieve financial freedom and move out, which you've already touched All on? Right. How do I deal with my emotional mother when it comes to moving out? And how would you act in my situation? Oh, Jesus. Oh, God. Just give me one. What's the first one? Okay. Question one is, well, it's a broad one. What right choices can I make in life regarding career, college and career? Okay. It pays. That's the right choice. Now he's cleaning. I say I like the entrepreneurship aspect, and the fact that he's getting paid twenty five dollars an hour on that CAD thing. Mm. That that I I would not let go of. Now I understand cleaning is not well, you're just a janitor who owns his own company. Mm. Uh, if you could get somebody else to do it and make money, well, you don't have to work. That might be something. But yeah, you may have to give up that LLC. But right now, until he comes up with a plan B. I see nothing wrong with him working at, uh, and learning more about entrepreneurship and running a business. He knows enough to file an LLC, so he probably learns a little bit about a taxes and accounting there. He's got his CAD thing. Keep doing that. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, So that, but, but then I would say at least an hour and a day at night before you go to bed, he's going to research different shit online as to what he should go and study, what careers are out there. That's, that's his next step, and he can't move forward career-wise until he figures out what his next step is. And I swear to fucking Christ, it ain't going to be this dude bro EMT uh, uh, drop shipping um, fucking realtor, realtor bullshit. Stuff, no, yeah. no, you're going to get a real fucking skill in the trade. And it could be that CAD thing, that's $25 an hour. That's a commendable wage. That's nothing to sneeze at. Um, and then I would stay at home until he has no debt. And until he figures out what his next step is going to be. That's why I would handle the career in, in college. All right, what's the next question on that? Well, you've already covered it. It's what steps should I take to achieve financial freedom and move out, as, as you yeah, were you gotta Yeah, you got to have the next step in a career. I'd even say stay at home, depending on his next choice, depending on um, whether he can go to school online or if he has to go to a he's not He's not wasting his time commuting two hours a day to school. That's fucking bullshit. Um, he he's gonna go on if he is if he does go back to college it'll be online assuming his degree is on like it's you know information mm. systems or accounting or something like that but that's down the road that's gonna be a couple months before he figures out what he wants to do next now this one I definitely want your thoughts on mm -hmm. how do I deal with my emotional mother when it comes to moving out mom bye <laughs> that's what you do fuck your mom I mean Jesus Christ I'm so the I, I what 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 do you See, I don't, I don't know. I didn't have a... It was like, bye, see ya. I'm out of here. And you know what? If your mom wants you to live at home, well, then she can pay you. Not only do you get free rent, <laughs> she pays you to live at home. Uh. But that's what you do. You say, mom, I'm leaving, bye. And then you move. <laughs> see, he's 20, so yeah, he sh it's time. It's time-ish, yeah. time-ish. Mm -hmm. Um... Wasn't there a fourth one, or was that a... Just he said, how would you act in my situation, which, uh, you know... I would take his dedication and effort he put towards the gym and working out, and i put that towards figuring out what he's going to do with his career next. That's what I would do. And then, after paying off his debt, and da -da 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 -da, maybe getting a little bit of reserves in there, and find out where he's going to go to school, that's going to be the, the largely determining thing. 
but let's say he wants to go become a geologist and he's got to go to say Colorado School of Mines or South Dakota School of Mines. Well, then he's got to move out. Mm. So that kind of addresses the issue with his mother. Um, or he decides, no, I'm, I like doing this entrepreneurship gig and da da da, and I really don't want to go to college. And he ends up getting a really good CAD, you know, he becomes the CAD expert. Mm. And he just goes, gets his own apartment. But um, yeah, it's, it's kind of, he's. I can't tell him what to do next until he figures out what he's going to do career wise. But you tell him it's not going to be dude bro shit. I will say it sounds like he's got some good choices and potential here. He's not like a total loser. No, 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 he's yeah, not a loser. So no, no, I mean shit. Credit he's got, for that. I, the only thing that really pisses me off is that car loan. But the fact he's got ten grand in cash. I mean, you mm. net that out. He's only got four grand in debt. For the average twenty-year-old millennial or Gen Zer, dude, he's way ahead. Having of the an group. LLC at twenty, I think, <laughs> is pretty cool. I think that's pretty cool. Yeah, that's pretty cool. All right, anything else on that one? That's uh. Pretty much it. He just uh, pays you a couple he compliments, me. and he yeah. mentions that. Yeah. Good. So um, now, how do you end it appropriately? Toodles. Toodles. <laughs>